Greece is a full member of the European Union. As a matter of fact, one of the oldest members of the European Union, and we hold a particular relationship with just about every country member partner of ours in the EU. Second, we're members of NATO for a very, very long time. Third, we have a special relationship with our partners and allies from the other side of the Atlantic, including the United States and Canada and almost all of Latin America. On the other hand, we hold special ties to Japan and China. From a Chinese perspective, Greece represents the first entry point to Europe following the Suez Canal. It makes full logistical sense that a vessel that crosses the Canal of Suez will reach out to Europe by unloading or loading merchandise to the Piraeus port. We hold this particular relationship with the Balkan Peninsula. We are very supportive to the Western Balkans becoming members of the European Union as we strongly believe in the fully cohesive, fully integrated one continent European Union that is inclusive of everyone because that is the way to the resolution of all of the pending small and little tiny problems that still exist in the European continent. And of course we're very supportive to becoming partners and friends and enjoying the economic relationship and the bilateral relationship with Cyprus and Egypt and Israel and Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates and all of the leading forces of the Gulf and the Middle East that are very supportive to the same value set and ideas that we believe in. And so what we've done in this past year and a half is to tell the world, to tell the investment community that we are here to be supportive to their plans, to be delivering to what we say we will deliver and to have someone with whom they can speak the same language and by language I do not mean Greek or English or French, I mean to have the same understanding of what business is, what business development is all about, and what foreign direct investment and support to it is about. <music>